hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out vivek ramoswami's exchange with lgbtq plus activist goes viral and you guys i'm super excited as always if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about brand new this morning the first edition of the fox news power rankings for the republican presidential primary coming one week before the first gop primary debate that will air here on fox news so here you can see former president trump leads the pack by a wide margin for endorsements by elected officials he's also the clear front runner in the overall power rankings join us now for a deeper dive jessica tarloff co-host of the five and kaylee mcenany of course a Co-host on Outnumbered. Great to have you both here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Nice to see you. So these are our first power rankings, and I think it shows you kind of what you would imagine. Let's have call for number one, please. You can see here the MAGA base strong at 37%. But Kaylee, speak to this. Persuadable, 37%, and a hard no for Trump, 25%. So that adds up to quite a bit. It does. It adds up to 62 percent who say we will entertain someone not Trump, uh, which is a big number. It, no doubt Trump is far and away ahead the front runner. Um, but what's interesting to me is this becomes a game of math. So you have 62 percent who say we're willing to look elsewhere. Well, then it becomes what are the Burgrams doing in the race? We'll see what Nikki Haley does. What is Nikki Haley doing in the race? Because this is directly it's a zero sum game. You're taking from yeah. Ron DeSantis or Tim Scott, the two contenders we have in the power rankings. And then you start to look at exits and think back to 2016. When we got to Iowa, we finished Iowa. There were still nine candidates in the GOP primary. Mm. Finished South Carolina. There were six um, or five, I should say. You go to Super Tuesday. There were five candidates in the race, an enormous chunk of delegates. And what do you see? Donald Trump with 255, Ted Cruz with 218. But guess what? Rubio with 96, Kasich with 21. Mm. So this becomes an issue of who can catch steam and then who will drop out to let someone yeah. catch steam right. and aggregate what, what you point out that the game was over at that point. It was over. Yeah. Yeah. Ted Cruz tried, but it was over. Yes. Uh, call for number two. This is the New York Times, what they did about uh, three weeks ago. Uh, among those who are strong MAGA, the um, favorability rating for Donald Trump is 99 percent. And I, imagine, I, I don't care how many courtrooms you line up or how many indictments you get. You can give him another 100 indictments. We go to 191 indictments if you like. That 99 percent is not going to change. Don't threaten me with a good time so early in the morning. Bill. <laughs> um, yeah, well, that, that branch of the party is named after the man. Of course he's going to have 99% approval there. That makes complete sense. Obviously, the indictments are not hurting him in the primary writ large. But to what we were talking about with these persuadables, and I say I would take the 25% out of the persuadable character, uh, category because they're not even considering him. Those, those, the quarter of the base there, just not going for Donald Trump again, which is how Joe Biden was able to win in 2020. So you're looking at the middle there, the people who still like Trump but are looking to be persuaded. And what we're focusing on on the Democratic side is how Ron DeSantis has really failed to be what he was billed as, that he was going to run away with this. He had all of the money. He had all of the enthusiasm. You even had Democrats talking about, you know, he has a really good record in Florida. This is going to be tough to contend with. That's why I think Gavin Newsom has been focusing on him, saying, I want to debate you. I want to show up in Florida and talk about what's been going on. Feels like a real challenger there. But his money... He's still getting the money, mm -hmm. but one of his biggest donors has said, unless you fix your positions, your extreme positions yeah, on abortion, you know, one, one thing, I'm not going to keep giving we you can't, money. We can't figure out, because we don't know this right now, but of those people, you wonder how many are converted into looking at Trump as a victim, you know, in and out of a courtroom after a courtroom. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Let's just see Is how they develop. Unfair? Anyway, we had a moment in Iowa over the weekend with Vivek Ramaswamy. Um, we just want to play his answer. He was confronted by an activist, and it went this way with a woman from the LGBTQ community. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. I don't think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man in a swim competition. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. So just so our viewers know, it went on for a while, before and after that. And he thanked her and she thanked him and they both said, thank you for being civil. Yeah. Um, he's got a real opportunity next Wednesday night 
to introduce himself to millions of people, Kaylee. He does. He is articulate. He is smart. He understands how to talk about these issues. That should be a model for anyone talking about this issue. He said, I respect you. He said, we all live under the same flag. But he reoriented the conversation to where it needs to be. We hear these terms like culture war and don't say gay bill and gender affirming care. But when you get down into the nuts and bolts, you can look at the Washington Post KFF poll to the tune of 60 to 70 percent. Americans don't want sex taught in K through three education. Americans don't want biological men and women's sports. All of these issues are winning. But the moment you change the language and talk about them as anti LGBTQ laws, all of a sudden the polling flips. If the issues can be talked about the way Vivek does, you can win on these issues. Don't talk about them as culture wars. Talk about them in the exact way we just watched. We might be able to win in Iowa on those issues. But Jessica, I think the Democrats think that for them on this issue, uh, and if you're going to be an activist, that means you're definitely voting. Absolutely. And I think enthusiasm, you know, we're in that lull where people are saying, I'm not interested in this because we're already starting the presidential race and it feels like we just had, right? It's the burnout. People will be juiced up to vote. And certainly if Donald Trump is on under the R there, it's going to be for those who love him and those who hate them, they're going to show up. Mm -hmm. Kaylee's right about reformatting the question as best as you can to be able to get your point of view across in a conciliatory way. That's what Democrats did with the gun control issue. We don't say gun control, we talk about gun reform. Mm -hmm. And that's how you now have 90% of Americans that want stricter background checks, Interesting. for instance. Interesting. Well, I love having you guys on the show. Thank yeah. you for yeah, coming on. Great. Thank you. We are just Thank one you, week away yes. from the Very first excited. debate. So wait. the Fox News hosts this Republican. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one with Vivek Ramaswamy. Let me know what you guys think about this video going viral. And I really had fun reacting to him. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And this is me officially signing out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.